Morning. You look like shit. Oh, I look like you. Watch your lip, commoner. Giacomo. <laughs> oh, I must be stinking. I don't think I've been followed, but we must hurry. The whole town is talking about your escape. You can take the carriage. This is all the money they would allow me to withdraw. It's not much. 500 zucchini. Is that all? They know I'm your patron. You could post me money. Send it by messenger. Giacomo, they're watching me. You've endangered all of us. There you go, commoner. Eat up. And you owe me for that. I'm keeping a tab. Where will you go? There is a chance. Venetian ambassadors abroad have the authority to pardon you. They could clear your name, and you could come back. What for? Henriette's married. I've lost her. You seem to be forgetting your innocent. You deserve to be pardoned. Come home, Jack. There's an ambassador in Paris. That'd be good. I fancy a bit of France, yeah. The girls, the food, the vino collapso. You'd come with me? No, you'd come with me. You're the criminal. Carry my bags. Thank you. Oh, don't get soft. No, but thank you. Thank you. And I'll make it work, Rocco. We'll go to Paris. The two of us, together. Um, that's the three of us. You're not coming, surely? Me? No. No, I'm not. Uh, uh, it's, uh... They named him after you. Jack, this is your father. Casanova and son. His mother was Teresa Caccioli. She died on Easter Day, and the boy was brought to me. The last request was that Jack should know his father. Well, how do you know that me? She could be lying. She was a nun. Yeah. With the mother dead, the convent was forbidden to keep him. Well, can't he stay with you? I represent the church. It would bring scandal at my house. I'm on the run. What sort of upbringing is that? Better than living on the street. I would rather he was safe in the hands of a very clever man. Teresa Caccioli, Caccioli. Do you know what she looked like? She was a nun. Well, there's a lot of nuns. A lot of you. I suspect there are a hundred pastors with your features. <laughs> you're lucky you're only saddled with one. And maybe this is what you need. Someone more important than the next conquest. All those disasters. Is that the way to live your life? No. It's the grace of God. A chance to start again. You can help the boy, educate him, yeah. inspire him, yes. impart your wisdom, yes. make him a man. Yes, absolutely, yes. Did she leave me any money? She was a nun. This is nice. Here we are. The wheels on the carriage go round and round. Jack, we're going to Paris, and Paris is the capital of France. I'll be testing you on this. That's my name. People call me Jack. Can we change his name? No. Lorenzo or Caesar? Marco? Stefano? Giovanni? Allison? <laughs> no. He looks nothing like me. <sighs> Are we there yet? We travelled across Europe, borrowing money and stealing clothes arriving in Paris at the celebrated court of King Louis XV. Right, I need a title. What's my title? You haven't got a title. Well, let's make one up. Um, 
What was the name of that river we passed? The Seine. Seine. The Seine Mont. Seine. So, fix. Seine Galt. Seine Galt, yes. I shall gain access to the court as the Chevalier de Seine Galt. Monsieur. Merci. Just, just wait there. Just stay. Singalt. Not heard of it. Is that a significant territory? Enormous. And where is it exactly? Well, it's not so much a place, more of a state of mind. Now, sir, all I require is an audience with the Venetian ambassador. Delighted, sir. You speak very good French, by the way. Thank you. How's my act? Well, Italian, obviously, but the ladies might like it. Now, sir, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the royal court. <laughs> Chevalier de Sango. Oh, thank God I've been there. It's lovely. Oh, it's super in the summer. Oh, my goodness, you're handsome. Yes, I am. What brings you to Paris? Uh, I just need to see the Venetian ambassador. At your service. Oh, bugger me, you're handsome. Yes, I am. And no, I won't. Oh, damn it. Well, never mind. How can I help? My name's Giacomo Casanova, the Chevalier de Sango, and I just need a favor. Could you call that handsome? Oh, my <laughs> lord, Bellino. <laughs> I'm in Paris. So am I. Look at you. I think I knew you when you were a boy. Oh, Jack, it's glorious. I'm such a success. And don't think I'm not grateful. It's all you're doing. Oh, I was just a passenger. You had a talent all of your own. I'd still be in hiding if you hadn't found me. Now I'm singing on every stage and celebrated across Europe. And you? Oh, I'm fine. Everything's marvellous, yeah. I heard about what happened. Takes more than prison bars to stop me. About Henriette. Was she worth it? Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Still, you can move on now. That's what you've always done. Oh, sweetheart. I wish there was something I could do, but I've simply got to go. I'm due in Naples, of all places. I've got 17 engagements, and it's all so busy and super. You'll be fine, Jack. I'll say a prayer. But I don't know anyone else. Can't you stay just for a bit? I haven't even packed yet. Oh, if you knew my schedule, they're aiming a horse after me. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't forget me, Jack. Wait a minute. Did you say Casanova? The man who escaped from prison climbed over the roof? That's me. Oh, sweet lord, you're famous. They've written librettos about you and everything. Look, it's Casanova. Climbed over the roof? That's me. Gosh, you're much taller in real life. Look, it's Casanova. <gasps> climbed over the roof. That's still me. Just a little bit of business, that's all. And, um, well, I thought that you could uh, grant me a pardon and clear my name. Gosh, that would be nice. Can you do it? Impossible. But I'm entirely innocent of every charge against me. Well, that doesn't matter. You're just too famous now. Your name's a liability. If I forgave you, I'd lose all credibility. Sorry. But I I've got to get back. Climbed it's... over the roof. Oh, for God's sake, yes. Am I to understand that you falsified your way to the court of King Louis XV when you are, in fact, a convict, a criminal, and an escapee? Thank you. 